everybody, it's Lacey. Welcome to Paul's and Paper. So today I thought I would just start with a fun play around. I've been trying to come up with some ways to use some of my book pages and I've been making some of these really pretty journaling cards. These are like large journaling cards. But I don't know if you can see in the background. Today what I'm going to start with is how I've got um, my book pages prepped. So if you see on the book pages here, I have um, kind of uh, dyed different colors. And then I, Leo, sorry. Leo went to his spot under, uh, here, you wanna see him? There he is, he went to his spot under my desk. And of course he has to bump the camera when he goes under there. Are you having fun, Poopsie? Yeah, is it crafty time? Say hi to everybody. Say hello. Say I'm down here crafting with mom because it's too hot outside. Okay, see you later. Yeah, so he's down here with me because it's too hot outside today. So anyway, what I'm going to do today is uh, show you how I prepped the uh, background, the book pages. And I don't know if you can see on camera very well, but I was using these watercolors. I love these watercolors. If you want a glittery effect, but not with the like an actual like glitter this gives such a cool glitter effect lots of glitter these were kind of more expensive um but this is well worth it in my opinion because these are great to use so i'm going to be using these and then i'm also going to be using my cheapo kids i don't know where this came from watercolors and these are just the primary colors so i mean you don't need anything crazy expensive i'm going to be just using kids as watercolors and then i also did bring along i just got some instant coffee here and then i've got a clean water um and no fancy brushes or anything crazy like that and some book pages so let's go ahead and start playing around with these I'm going to actually sit today. I never sit when I craft, but we're going to sit today. So um, it doesn't really matter if they have my, some of my book pages have pictures on them. What I'm going to do anyway, I'm going to turn them into journaling cards. So I'm going to back them with some craft paper. So I really don't care what it looks like. So I'm just going to grab some book page and hopefully you can see here and we're just gonna play around so now I am NOT a professional uh, watercolor by any means I purely just play around and uh, you can't go wrong with a book page I mean you're just playing with a book page if you screw it up it's just a book page most of us have about a million of them so I've been trying to play around with you know like the uh, like the rolling up trying to get the water to roll trying to get those marks you know um, to like come down the side here and everything but uh, yeah so this is just gonna be a very simple fun way um, and I'm making journal cards out of these so I thought, why not come along and just play with you guys? So you can go as light or as dark as you want just by slopping on some more water. So I hope everybody's having a good summer. It has gotten super hot here. We're like in the dog days of August I think we uh it's just so humid here it's not even a good dry heat it's just hot so so here I, I'm just trying to to get it to run like that just kind of like bleed it on the edge and then just hope it makes something kind of cool and what I did with the ones that I was working on here, I did uh, I did end up using some napkins and stuff to to finish them, like to decoupage on top. But uh, I was just playing around with my 
simple watercolors first, trying to get some cool dyed images rather than always, you know, like just a plain old coffee dyed paper. Just trying to get some different colors and things here because I really like the blue ones. I got some like bluish green ones that I thought turned out really cool. But, uh, yeah, so. So anyway, I thought we would just come along and play and let's just sit here and chat with you guys. See what everybody's been up to. We have just started soccer again. So we were going to be busy a couple nights a week with that. And then pretty soon, kids start going back to school here. So that's coming up real soon, which I don't think my kids are very impressed with. But I think every adult is ready for their kids to go back to school at this point. And every kid is just like the opposite. But hey, if I had the summers off too, I wouldn't want to go back. So this is just, you just like, I've just started playing. There is no rhyme or reason to this. You can let this dry, then add some more. I think the yellow and the brown looks kind of cool. Gives it a real vintagey look. Maybe I should, I'm just gonna, I'm going into my my instant coffee here. I doubt this is going to make any difference, but. So pretty much I'm just making a mess today. And then I'm just going to let these dry. That one looks pretty cool. Okay. So that is what I'm going to be doing. There's one. Move you off to the side. Let's try. Oh, I was going to add some of the, I'm going to use some of these. These are so cool. Okay. I'm going to use, what should I use with the yellowy ones? Maybe like the red gold. The red gold's really dark or the blue gold. Let's go blue gold. This one comes out really dark, that red gold one. And I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this on camera, but this adds such a cool shimmer. I really, really think these are awesome. Yeah, I really don't know if you can see it on camera, but it just adds this very subtle, but very cool uh, all over shimmer. And different ones of these, they, like they get darker than others. Yeah, there's a bunch over here. I don't know if that, it probably doesn't pick up on camera very well at all, but okay. Set you off to the side. Let's play with another one here. Let's do, let's go in with some blue and greens. I really like that one. I did that. Uh, I had that peacock napkin and I love that color. Yeah, don't be afraid to use, you know, stuff from the dollar store, stuff from, you know, your kids' stash, or whatever you got. Because, like I said, these are nothing spectacular. But a great way to, uh, to dye your papers. Like I said, it's just kind of like a random mess. Which is kind of like me, just kind of like a random mess, you know? And I've been trying to stick with colors that kind of, you know, if they mix together, they look good mixed together, you know? So I don't turn into like a muddy, a 
little muddy picture here. See, I've been trying to find colors that complement each other. Otherwise, I would end up with just this giant muddy mess. No idea if you can see what I'm doing because I can't see into my camera. So yeah, these are just kind of a fun project to do. One of those days, you know, when you don't really want to do anything too involved, but you kind of want to play. Yeah, that's one of those days. I got such a whole bunch of these napkins yet that I feel like I need to continue to use them with different ideas and so never hurts to have a good supply of journaling cards on hand. So if anybody else out there, are you uh, as excited as I am for the new Game of Thrones series to, to come out here soon? Um, is it, what's it even called? Dragons and something? Yeah. I'm ready for that to come out. I can't wait to watch that. I really enjoyed watching the actual the Game of Thrones series. I liked it. Okay, so let's go maybe with like a uh, champagne gold. That might look cool. I can see that it sparkles so pretty. And it kind of doesn't, it doesn't like sink in on top of the color. It kind of just like floats around on top. It's just really cool. I wish you could see it. I wish it'd pick up on camera. But I don't think it is quite picking up on camera. But it looks cool. Maybe I'll do one of this, like these darker ones here. Um, this one here, that red gold. This one turns out like really dark. Just do like a corner thing. There we go. That's kind of pretty. Just a little bit of that in there. And I'm only doing one side of these because the other side I am going to just cover anyway. Super cool. I kind of like how that just fades in there. Now I'm just going to kind of let them dry. Okay. What other colors can we make? How about... My water's all pretty glittery too. Can you see how pretty glittery the water is? <laughs> my, my supposedly clean water. Okay, let's do... Should we do... Red's kind of a very bold color, but let's see if we can do one that's not so crazy red. Maybe we can make it look a little bit more pink than red. Oh, 
I have to tell you guys, I, uh, I found something really cool the other day when I was out, um, garage sailing. We, uh, found some really cool, Leo, sorry, Leo's moving, found some really cool vintage wallpaper, like it's like, a like embossed wallpaper. And uh, I think I'm going to put it down here in my craft room on the walls because um, if you watch like my craft room tour stuff, I craft in the basement of our house, which is um, an older house. And it is got this really dark wood paneling everywhere in the basement, which is just super gorgeous. And uh, so I wasn't real, I'm not real too afraid of doing anything to it. So I thought, I wonder if this wallpaper would look cool on it. So we're going to try it. And uh, it's like paintable, but it looks really like uh, Victorian style, which is really kind of, you know, I love that look. So yeah, I am definitely excited to see what we can uh, make it look like. So this fall, I may be taking a break for a while so that I can completely, because um, I'm going to have to move everything out of my space. Like my whole, all my desk area and everything is going to have to be moved away from the walls and the walls are going to have to be, you know, being prepped and work on and I'm not going to be able to set up here. And so it's just going to be a mess. So I may be taking a break from filming for a while so that I can get that wallpaper up. Which I hope looks really cool in the end because it is just, it's just that really I, Victorian style era that I, I absolutely love, you know, and so I'm just, I can't wait to see if, uh, if it turns out as good as I am hoping it will. So, we will see, but I will uh, hopefully take you guys along so you can see some of that process, like the before and after. I always love the before and after type pictures, you know, so that you can see what it looked like before and after. And it, it's paintable too, but I don't know. I, I want it to be brighter and lighter down here because it's all so dark right now. But uh, I'll probably just paint it a really light color to try to brighten it up because there's no natural light down here there's no windows no at least not on this side we've got like those you know like those basement half windows you know but nothing on this side and so it's kind of just all you know artificial light which is you know it's fine it's just not very bright and cheery. Well, that one's not bad. Looks a lot like this brownish one. This one's drying pretty cool. I keep touching it though. Like I'm getting blues in it now. So yeah, these are just so much fun to make and you can just sit here and crank them out one after another. You could probably sit here and go through a whole book of pages. That's what I've been doing. Let's do a really dark grungy one some black oh I don't use black very often Halloween is coming up though you know do something very gothic and grungy for Halloween in there. Purple and black always goes good together. See, you can tell I have a very professional technique of watercoloring too, right? You know, like I told you, I'm like, I'm like very pro at this. Funny. Well, you don't have to have any real real art skill to do this. So 
that what I'm trying to say? No real skill involved. I'm allowed to say that about myself, aren't I? Ooh, purple and black. I like purple and black. It's kind of a different combination. Very Halloween-esque though, I think. Yeah, how many of you have seen already? They have Thanksgiving decorations out. I'm pretty sure I've even almost seen Christmas decorations out. It's like as soon as back to school, school stuff goes out, it's like they start whipping out all the Halloween and Thanksgiving decorations. And I am just, just getting used to the idea that like summer's almost over. But I do love fall. Fall is my favorite time of the year. So I'm not complaining. I, I would rather have the you know, like the cooler fall, you know, weather where you have to wear, you know, a sweater outside. I don't need the, the heat. I do like, you know, to be outside, but I do not like to feel like I'm going to melt when I'm outside. That one's actually kind of cool. This would go good with my, uh, that plum pretty digital I have. Could probably cut out a picture for that one. We might have to do that with this one. kind of mesmerizing too to just sit here and watch you know like those uh those sand things you know in a glass thing you flip it upside down the sand all starts rolling there it's kind of what it's like you kind of just sit here and mesmerize yourself with with watching paint dry literally watching paint dry it is kind of fun though it's oddly satisfying way to get messy too. I feel like getting messy. Because I'm a messy. I like it when it gets to the edges and the edges get super dark. Spooky, I like that one. That one's cool. Should put some glitters on it. Why not? Everybody needs some glitters. Oh, that's super cool. I hope that's showing up on camera. I wish you guys could see this, seriously, because this. I love these glitters. One time I took these, these watercolor glitters and I was embossing with them. So now some of my embossing folders has this watercolor glitter on it. So the next time I emboss paper, then my paper got all glittery, which is really kind of cool. So I'm like, oh, I should just put this stuff on my embossing folders. And it turned out really cool. Because I like the effect. Because it was dry, but it was just this, the glitter stays in there. Paintbrush hair. Super cool. And now it's all glittery on that end. Doesn't take much of this stuff either. Alrighty. Well, that's pretty cool. So we did a couple. We got, oh, you're like, can't, can you see hardly any? Oh, that one's cool. Can you see the glitter? Oh, I wish you could see the glitter. It doesn't look as good on camera as it does in person. It looks so much better in person. What a mess. Oh my gosh. Mess, mess, mess. 
All right, well, that is the start of our papers. And when, oh no, look what I did. I got a big old black smudge on there now. Let's see how that dries. Okay, so when I come back, um, we're gonna go ahead and we are going to decorate these up. So this was just a play around to get started. And then next video, I will show you how I go ahead and decorate all of them up. So I hope you guys had a good day watching me get dirty. Go ahead and get dirty yourself. I'll see you guys later. Bye.